My name is Tomas Bolt, and I'm um, the belly dancer of this production. <laughs> no, I'm the production designer. I'm responsible for the look of the show. The production design on this show was incredible. We have to make everything look like it's from 1983, which is a huge challenge in itself. As soon as you watch it, you're in South Central LA, you're chucked into 1983. In many ways, it was real, but had was floating just a few inches off the ground. And that's really the tone we've kind of been trying to set for Snowfall. We have very distinct three worlds, right? In Snowfall, we have the African-American world of South Central, Compton. The way to bring it also into the early 80s, was to give it a lot of jewel tones, coppers and the silvers and the emeralds instead of green, and the amber instead of yellow. Then we have another world, which is the Latino world, East LA, loud primary colors. And then we have the CIA kind of more white world. I'm using a lot more neutral tones, grays and silvers and whites. And Tomas is very hands-on, and he is unrelenting. I think what we were able to achieve is a very feature-layered television show, all the way down to the cigarette butts. Things you may not even see, but the actors feel a lot more at home when they see that. You really have to make it look as authentic as possible, because there's always somebody in the audience that's gonna say, that's the wrong phone or that's the wrong bottle. I really feel like Louis stepping into her world. It definitely helps me dive into my character even more because that real life connection really being in it. I take it in because there's so much authenticity there that there's little acting, you know, you're really transported to a time and yeah, you can feel the grit. There's actually dust on that mantle. We can't have certain lights on that, you know, like the LED lights that are all white. We have to change those to amber because that's what the street lights would look like. I mean, you can tell we go wall to wall on set dressing. Every last foot is valuable space. You always go a little further back because we're in 2017, but you go out in the street and there's still things from 2004 and you're doing something from 1980s. You're going back to the 60s and the 70s to inform that look. You want it to be authentic, but you're also creating a world that is your version of that world.